Hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to do head tracking in After Effects, so stick around for the full tutorial. Before we jump in, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like on this video and hit that subscribe button, it really helps out the channel. Alright let's not waste any more time, let's dive straight into After Effects and get started. Alright guys let's get started, first add your clip to After Effects. Here's the clip I'm using, it's in its original resolution and frame rate. Now let's dive into face tracking. Head over to the tracker panel. If you don't see it, just go to window and make sure tracker is checked. Next, select your clip and bring the playhead to the start. Make sure your preview quality is set to full. Now back to the tracker panel and select stabilize motion to start face tracking. Then a tracking box will appear, position it over your tracking point. You can use the character's face or any distinct feature like the star badge on this mask. Also keep in mind, the larger the tracker box, the more accurate it will be, but it will also take longer to process. If you have a powerful PC, feel free to make it bigger. If not, keep it small, like this one. After setting up the tracker, change the tracking type to position only. Then go to options and change the adapt feature setting to stop tracking. This prevents the tracker from drifting off if it loses the target. Once you're ready, click the play icon to start tracking. When it's done, review the tracking points. If anything's off, you can manually adjust the points. Now let's apply the tracking data to the clip. Go to the tracker panel and click apply. Set the orientation to both X and Y axes, then hit OK. And that's it for the head tracking part. Here's how it looks. Next, you'll want to set your project to your editing resolution. Press Ctrl plus K to open project settings and input your resolution. Mine is 1440 by 1600 with 60 FPS. Then hit OK and adjust the clip's position as needed. So if the clip looks jittery like this, you can fix that by enabling frame blending. For that click two times, this box right here, to activate pixel motion. You can also enable motion blur for a smoother look. Now, let's deal with those black borders. You can simply fix that by increasing the scale, so select the clip, pressing S key to open the scale, and adjusting the scale as you need it. Also we have another method to do that, for that we need to use an effect. Go to the Effects tab, search for Motion Tile, and apply it to the layer. Set both output width and height to 300, and enable Mirror Edges. This will fill in those black areas like this. Finally, let's pre-compose this layer. Select the layer and press Ctrl plus Shift plus C to pre-compose. If you notice a frame appearing due to frame blending or pixel motion, move forward through the timeline until the frame is normal, then press Alt plus square bracket to trim the layer. And that's it. That's how you do head tracking in After Effects. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to see more After Effects tutorials, let me know in the comments below. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.